Hey YouTube, comment allez-vous? I am Sha. And I'm Ju. Together we are Sha and Ju. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're taking you to Montreal. We were there this summer for about, what, three weeks? Yeah. We had so much good food. We saw so many good things. And we met so many nice people too. But today we'll be bringing you to... The best traditional bagel shop in Montreal. Make sure you stay until the end as we'll be tasting them in a picnic in the middle of Montreal. Yeah, it was mouth-watering. Additionally, we actually took a bagel making class with Will. We'll link you his course below. He was super knowledgeable. We learned how to make the classic Montreal style bagel and they turned out really amazing. So before we get into this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel and leave your notification bell on at all times so you could get more fun videos like this. <laughs> so let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. Our first stop is Fairmont Bagel, the first bagel shop in Montreal. Founded in 1919 by the Schlafmann family, and operating on a 24-7 basis in the Trendy Mill End district. They still use the same traditions and techniques than a hundred years ago and roll every single bagel by hand and then bake them in the wood-burning oven. As much as sesame is the traditional option, they have introduced a few other flavors over the years and some of them we'll be tasting at the end of this video. <laughs> yeah, so just gonna give you guys a bit of theory before, mm -hmm. just gonna go through the ingredients here. Tell you guys what they do and why we want them on the recipe. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much first of all, there's four key textures that you want in the bagels. Those are pretty signature, go-to, must-have textures. But the first two is pretty dense and pretty chewy. Mm -hmm. So dense and chewy, those two textures are pretty much added through these two ingredients here that I'll talk about in a few seconds. But yeah, dense and chewy, that's a must. Mm -hmm. And then the last two is pretty much only when they're fresh out of the oven, but they should be pretty sticky. Yeah. Pretty doughy as well. So sticky and doughy. <laughs> Do the baker once more. Because that would be so me, like being like a gram over or something. Yeast. <laughs> you can bring it back to zero if you want. If you guys want an extra challenge, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> right? And sure. If I had anything to cook and anything to eat for the rest of my life, yeah. those mint fit first and then fried chicken for sure. And then the oil, right? Beautiful, beautiful, no disasters. What about you? What would you be happy to eat every day? Well, bread. Bread, bread and cheese and bread tomato and, and cracked pepper, but you know I'm pampered. You can start with this. Okay, three grams. Yeah, I love sushi. Yeah, but then in Vancouver, there's so much like Asian food. The same thing. You guys had a need and mix and all that stuff, so you guys can just hang out, and watch me a couple minutes. You guys can do it all after. So, like I said, we're just gonna mix this a little bit. And then... You guys are ever concerned? Do we know the window test? What? It like sticks to the window. No. <laughs> like the spaghetti. Yeah, here's the Pop it in there. Give it a cover. I'm also making black garlic. I'm just stinking up my office. Yeah, you cooked with us before, no? In this like competition thing, no? Oh, yeah, I'm dehydrating it, but over like six to eight weeks. 
So it just like, smells like garlic, right? And my office is just full on heated right now. Yeah. The hydrator's <laughs> been kicking for like a week now. Yeah, that's the thing. If it wasn't raining, you could have just put it on the roof and yeah, then it's get hot. there, right? But yeah. no. It's so humid. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I don't know what else is going on with this kind of experiments. <laughs> um, but it was, uh, yeah, it was a cute little thing. Nice. It was uh, like outside of Montreal, like in a really small. Myself, I charge sixty. Yeah, of course, right. Just ignore the fact that. <laughs> yeah, so we'll drop the bagels in there for a minute and a half on each side, so three minutes total, and then the goal is for the bagels to float. So good job. <laughs> Nothing has fallen apart yet. You guys are good. Oh, okay. So One's floating. Yeah, it's not. They're just stuck. To it doesn't take that long. Actually. No, those those slowly start to float. Uh, but yeah, at this stage, super important. Uh, swap the music. Yeah. yeah okay. Jazz, bossa nova. Yeah. Okay. That's what the bagels want. Yeah. Nothing aggressive. It's a little right. louder now. Okay, yeah. The... Oh yeah, this is all for the bagels. I creepingly just caress them. Also, this is optional. <laughs> you don't have water while you. Of work? course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Though that's how you get that chewy, sticky, doughy oh. texture. So yeah, if you didn't boil bagels, it would kind of just be like bread. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's the signature texture. Okay. And then without any like... This is a temporary tray oh, to just okay. let them cool off. We're going to bring them over here. Do we have bagels? Yes. For bagels? Yeah. Um, I like both. I mean, from Fairmont, I like the, we both like the sesame the most, right? Yeah, right? but I don't necessarily have a favorite. I will eat, it depends on the days, mm -hmm. right? Like days. To... For me, it also depends what I'm doing with it. Yeah. Yeah, very if much. If I'm doing a sandwich, this one's a killer. Yeah. Um, I tried the pretzel one over there. Oh, have you tried that? It's no. huge. It's like double the size. I know Fairmont did a bunch of different ones. Because St. Peter is pretty basic. Yeah. They'll do like sesame, it's like 90% of what they make. Yeah, they had like blueberry, they had, uh, did they have canals? Canal? They're getting a little, a little New York. Right. Yeah, but I like everything and then nice. grains, like in general. Right, you? Yeah, it depends on the days, right? Like, it's not necessarily what to be, I'm gonna have a sesame. I go in there, I feel for sesame, I'll grab a sesame. Yeah, you know. I still see white spots here and there, and then. Yeah, obviously, like the more room we have in between them in the oven, the more consistently brown we'll get, convection, all that fun stuff. But if you want to tell whether they're cooked or not, it's by lifting them. So where have we found ourselves a nice picnic spot? Um, yeah, in the Montreal Park. Um, we just got here. It's a little cloudy and windy. That's why I have a hoodie on. Other than that, the weather was really nice and warm before that. But I think it's just a passing cloud. Yes. But we also got the most important thing <gasps> the best bagel in montreal so sesame is of course the classic and then which other ones did we get sha you got a salt pretzel this one is huge yeah i thought it's pretty cool it's uh, I got, european right this is an onion one and i also got a garlic one. Oh wow There's so much garlic on it like the fried garlic one. yeah Yummy, yummy. So we're just gonna enjoy our little picnic here in Mont Royal and then we will go for a little stroll if the weather permits. So there's a long fight of which one is better, the Montreal or the New York bagel. So will you tell us? I haven't been to New York, so I can't tell you, but I can definitely tell you that this one smells really good for one. It's really like, I, I can feel the chewiness just by pressing it. And we got it with a little like a salmon spread kind of salmon mm. cheese spread. It's really good. So sweet. So chewy. So good.
you. I'm walking in the sun. I'm walking in the sun. Yeah, it stopped raining. It's sunny again. I'm gonna go take the car and drive somewhere else, maybe. Right, Ju? Yeah, we're so we haven't even seen the viewpoint yet. We had Belvedere Camiud. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Camiud. Camiud. And look at this view. Wow. Oh my god. It's raining in the back. You can see Pont Jacques Cartier downtown. It's that long peak. And you stay our hotel from here where we're staying. So I was just saying that there used to be raccoons around everywhere here. A lot here. of raccoons around here. A lot of them. They were pretty fat too. I don't see any right now. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video and following us along while we're experiencing the bagel world of Montreal. Make sure you stay tuned because there will be lots more videos coming up from our Montreal time this summer. In the comments below, let us know how you like to eat your bagel. But most importantly, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel and leave your notification bell on at all times so you could get more fun videos like this. Au revoir et à bientôt.